The Georgia Housing Choice Voucher will help 13,000 people, but over 125,000 residents have applied for that assistance. I'm Malia Thomas in Valdosta, and I made a trip over to the Partnership to End Homelessness to see just how much assistance is needed in the Azalea City. I slept outside in the cold. I slept outside in the rain with a box on my head. This is Miranda Berrien. I met her at the partnership. She tells me she's been going through a hard time lately. An accident left the lower half of her face disfigured. She's staying with her son, but that arrangement won't be lasting long. Trying to get in the shelter, but the shelter didn't have no space. So if you go to a shelter and they don't have a space, like that doctor don't have that many shelters. I also spoke with Partnership's Executive Director, Dr. Ronnie Mathis, while he was working to find housing for several residents. He tells me the demand for housing far exceeds Valdosta's options. Our phone log says that we have an average between 4,000 and 5,000 calls per month looking for help. So that's about 1,000 calls a week. Yeah. I checked with Valdosta Housing Authority in Housing and Urban Development for Georgia. In simple terms, demand is four to five times greater than supply right now. And that only includes requests the partnership gets. That doesn't account for other housing assistant agencies like LAMP. Dr. Mathis tells me the gravity of the situation is... Tremendous bad place. We're in a bad place because there is no funding. But then what makes it bad is we don't have affordable, decent housing. The Georgia Department of Community Affairs has awarded the Valdosta Housing Authority a million dollars to bring an affordable housing complex to the city. I'm Malia Thomas, reporting for ABC 27.